friends today what we are going to do is we are going to draw a very colorful peacock okay so we are going to do an art study at the same time um these are the things that we need so let's go through the stuff that we need first and then i will uh, talk about the artist and um the thing that we are drawing so you either need um, markers, color pencils, crayons, and paper. Okay, um, you don't have to have all these three supplies. Um, one of this is enough. Okay, so you need a paper also for this. But before we start drawing, um, I I'm going to show you how to draw on um, my whiteboard. Okay, so if you have a white uh, board, a white a dry erase um, board, or a scrap paper at home, go grab that. So uh, the artist that we are imitating is Edward. Bowden, okay. So Edward Bowden. He lived some time back, around um uh, in um early nineteen thousand. Like um, he lived from nineteen o three to nineteen seventy. Okay, and he used to live in England. So. What he used to do was he and what he's famous for is um, he made many types of art. He had books um, that he had illustrated books and then he used to make posters for advertisement and uh, he had worked on murals and he had done metalwork furniture. He had made tile paintings too. So... Um, some of the the London Underground Subway has um, some of his uh, murals there. Um, and then uh, he has designed like the plates for the passenger ships. So the plates that you eat on, right, in the passenger ships. So uh, for those uh, some ships, he have designed the plate okay so uh let me show you a uh, illustration by can you guys see this okay this is a picture of one of his uh illustrations this is called a peacock and a magpie okay this um illustration was done for a uh, book a fable uh, which is a story that tells about like a that has a moral and things like that right so this is the peacock and we are going to draw the I think this is the magpie and this is the peacock so we are going to um, draw the peacock so let me get this away and then let's see how we are going to draw the peacock so peacock um have you guys seen a peacock i hope so because peacock is a very colorful bird right with um bright feathers so um, let's see how we do uh, draw the peacock so we are going to place the paper in the portrait style and then um, we are going to think of the shape for the peacock's head. What would be the best shape? So the best shape would be either a circle or an oval shape. So I'm going to draw a oval shape for the head and then I'm going to draw its neck because it has a long neck. Okay. And then I'm going to 
draw another oval shape that would be the body so the body is bigger than the head so i need to make so the body i'm going to uh, make it bigger than the head and then i'm going to add the beak this is a upturned okay the the the, the head is turned upwards then what we are going to do is we are going to make those beautiful uh, feathers. So for that, let me just draw a circle or an oval shape around this peacock. Oh, and so like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the the feathers that are sticking out just from the body. These are like here, right? So that way I'm going to add some more oval shape in between these. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to make a line going around this. It's like, it's like I'm making a bubble around this. Okay. Now let's draw the legs. Can you guys see the legs? And the back fingers. eyes and the um what is it the crown of the peacock okay so then after we are done drawing this when we color we will add details to the uh, peacock's feather okay so once you know um how to draw the peacock it's going to be easy okay so Let's see how we do this with my paper. Okay, I have a paper. I'm going to put this aside. And then I'm going to grab my paper. And then I'm going to um, draw this with a marker. You can either draw with a marker or you can um, draw with a pencil. Once you're drawing, uh, drawing, what I want you guys to do is I want you to trace the um uh, trace the what is it the peacock all the lines for the peacock with a um, black crayon if you're going to color with the crayon if you are using a marker to color i would suggest going over all the lines with the black crayon uh, black marker and if it is a color pencil that you're using go ahead um color now outline all the lines with the pencil okay so let's start drawing this fellow okay so um the body of the peacock should be the size of your fist and so we have rest of the space for the um the beautiful feathers the fabulous feathers okay and what else I need to keep in mind is I need to leave some space for the leg also so I'm going to maybe put the head here the body here so there is enough space for the legs and then I can put the rest around the peacock so before you start you need to have an idea where you're going to put each of the things okay so the head can be here the body here there is enough space for the legs and the uh, feathers so as i showed you i'm going to start with the head and i'm going to stick to the oval shape or you can have a circle for the head also i'm going to make a oval shape for the head and then i'm going to make the neck neck should not be too thin nor it shouldn't be too thick um it should be 
in between size and uh, peacocks do have a little bit long neck okay not too long so i think this would be a nice size and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw um a oval shape again so i'm going to or it can be like a what shape can we call this a drop shape i just or an oval shape i just wanted the feather to stick out so i just made it so or what you can do is first make the oval shape and then let me show you what i mean do i have so the head is there the neck is there so first you can make the oval shape and then you can add the triangle in the back for the um, feathers there okay and then you would get this i just went and made it this way because i don't want this line because it's not a, the pencil that i'm using i don't want this line to show so that's why i uh, just made it this way you can if you're using a pencil make an oval shape and then uh, make a triangle in the back okay like that then what you're going to do next is we are going to make the beak So I have the beak, okay. Now what we'll do is um, we are going to make the feet maybe next. I don't want the, um, the legs to be like stick legs again because um, will the stick leg be able to hold this peacock's body, this um, peacock with such um, like a lot of feathers and all this thing right so a peacock is not a, a teeny tiny bird like a hummingbird uh, if you're drawing a hummingbird then i can say okay stick legs would work but not in this case so i made two lines and then i made the back uh, uh, fingers and then on the toes it's like that and then another one like that okay so this is a little bit maybe this is closer to you so that's why it's big or i can make it a little bit bigger okay so after that what we're going to do is uh, we are going to draw the um oval shape around the uh peacock for the feathers okay so i'm going to make one so it should not be below the feet it should be like a little bit above two so this what you're going to do is if you want you can draw a rainbow around the um do i have a pencil you can draw a rainbow let me grab a pencil and show you so you can one second. you can draw a rainbow can you see the rainbow that i'm drawing here hope you guys can see it did you so i made a rainbow with the pencil and then uh, all these um ovals that they are making should be touching the rainbow so that way you know It looks like egg shapes, right? So after you're done with that, what you're going to do next is we are going to make some, uh, the feathers that are next to the body, that is close to the body. So this is like upside down use. Okay. So we have that. Now we are going to add some um, more in between these. Okay. So then I'm going to add the crown and the eyes. And 
then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a bubble line like this. got it so so we have the peacock uh, ready then now the next thing that we are going to do is um as i said if you guys are doing in pencil go ahead and outline everything with a marker or with a black crayon a black marker or a crayon okay then you are going to grab whatever coloring material you're using i'm going to take the crayons and then start coloring this okay so i'm going to take maybe so peacock has um what is the color of the peak i i had a peacock feather i don't know whether i have it now so what it, it is like um beautiful green blue uh, a mix of green blue and yellow so what we're going to do is we are going to layer the colors okay so <clears throat> i'm going to first start with yellow okay yellow colors a layer of yellow So Edward, um, Edward uh, Borden, what he used to do, as I said, he used to illustrate for books, right? So after you are done uh, making this peacock, maybe you can illustrate a book, maybe write down a story about it can be of animals birds about uh, maybe it's a story of kids come up with us make up a story um and then or you can you don't even have to make up a story maybe it's a story that you know what you are going to do is for a story that you, even um uh, if you can come up with the story well and good uh, if uh, you can't think of a story, um, then maybe take a story that you know, illustrate for that, okay? And make, um, just think of what pictures would go with that story and make a, a book and then that would be a nice thing, right? That's how, um, so usually when a person writes a story, uh, after the person is done writing a story, the after the author is done writing a story, um, he, the person will send the story to the illustrator and the illustrator will uh, come up with a um, picture for the story. Okay, And then they'll send it to the author and the author will decide whether um, the picture will go... Uh, well with the other story but if so just if you are the author and the illustrator you don't have to you know how the character looks like right so what you are going to do is why not you come up with a story and illustrate right so uh, <laughs> see what i'm doing right now is i am going over the yellow with green okay my daughter when she was small what she used to do is she used to uh, make uh, come up make up stories and then she used to illustrate them and then bring and show to me so it, they, those were nice like now um now she's in college right now but still whenever she gets time um i had saved all her stories um so what she does is she will go through the stories and then um, it is 
really fun to go over things that you did when you were small, right? So now is the time you can come up with a story. So, and then illustrate it. So see what I did here? I put another layer for the peacock's um, body. Now, let me do um, here this part I want it to be really dark so what I'm going to do is here I wanted the background of the feathers to be a little bit lighter so that's why I added yellow to it and now this part I need it to be really dark so I'm just putting um, green and then later I'm going to go over it with blue let's see how it will look then where is the blue yeah so it's like layering one on top of another so you can layer colors with even crayons so if you're doing this with a pencil maybe the inside part i'm going to show you guys how to do with the pencil if you're doing with color pencil and then some other part i'll show you how to if you do it if you're doing with the marker okay so see i think this is almost the color that you see on a peacock. The darker it is, the nicer it will look, right? So try and make it look really nice. Most of the stories, the peacock, uh, people make the peacock look like a person who is like, um, very um, egoistic like thinking i am a pretty person and i don't care what others look like do you think all the pretty uh, creatures or animals think that way i don't know maybe if anyone one of you is writing a story about a peacock make this peacock um maybe like a nice peacock nice person I don't know why always people think that pretty people are mean and or they are stuck up or things like that right so now let's think of the color for the body and as I said I will show you how to let me show you with the color pencils so in case you don't have color pencils you're going to color the whole thing with the crayon but I'm showing you how to do this uh, with the color pencil because I don't want to um, do another uh, thing completely. I don't want to start another uh, peacock uh, and then show you how to do this with the color pencil. Let me try doing both with the on the same project itself. So guys, you know, so you will take two different blue. Okay. And then what you're going to do is um, I'm going to color the parts that I need to be light first okay so I'm going to add some patterns like that show to show the texture so and I'm going to make it a little dark so that This part maybe I should have done this with this one here. And this is his wing, right? Maybe I should I'll do so. If it is with the uh, pencil, maybe you can first uh, go with the. A black pencil and then outline these things and then you can color inside so that way it'll be easy you will know where to stop right okay uh, so I'm going to make this uh, a very happy looking peacock so 
let me now color inside these areas that I made with the lighter color. Okay. It's okay if you are not staying within the line because this is a lighter color. I'm going to use a darker blue around it. So uh, it's going to be fine. Okay. Maybe the mouth also is blue, light blue. Now I'm going to take the darker color. Does both the colors look the same? Oh, I thought, hmm, why are they both the same color? Can you see? Or maybe I should press a little bit more to make this darker. I thought this is two different colors. I thought this is the color that I'll get. Why? Why? Why are you confusing me? Crayola. Maybe I should press a little bit more and then I'll get a darker color. Or should I choose a darker blue? Oh, I think I'm fine. Maybe. This is the same color. Maybe I should choose a dark. Maybe I'll go over this with a I'll go over with green later. The part that needs to be darker. So if this happens, you know what to do, right? So just go over that with the darker color. Okay. This is not what that uh, a color that I wanted. But again, color pencils are something that I don't use that much. So I was not sure what color this is going to be. This is the my daughter's color pencils when she was your age. I just grabbed the color pencils and thought, let me use them. And then, see, that is her name <laughs> still on this uh, bag. Okay, let me take the green and then go over that. Yeah, this is better. I don't like color pencils. The reason is... Uh, Color pencils needs to be um, sharpened in between, right? So I like to do things super fast. I don't want to like take a lot of time when I'm doing stuff. So if I need to stop and sharpen the pencil, I don't like that. So that's why I don't use um, pencils that much. But pencils does look nice if you color it. Uh, color nicely with it okay I am loving using the pencils I like the way how it turned out but I'm not a big fan of sharpening this <laughs> so see what happened here I used both the colors okay so that's how you will use if you're using a um, color pencil let's see how we what you will do if you are using a marker mm, or I'll just use um, okay let me find the marker then uh oh again markers are something that I don't use that much and then no I get to use all the things that I don't use Actually, I'm a big fan of crayons, but not a fan of markers or pencils. Okay, my pencil fell off. So what I'm going to do next is color with the marker, right? So uh, I'm going to color the inside of the peacock's um, feather, okay? So the inside part is yellow, yeah, this color I guess. There is black and I'll take purple and there is this blue and a bit of green. So I'm going to grab these colors and then let's see how I do this. So first I'm going to grab the black. Come on. And then I'm going to make a backwards B and then color that up so 
So if you're doing this with the A, a crayon, do the B with the crayon. If it is with the color pencil, do it with the color pencil. Okay. I just wanted to show because somebody told me that um, the, each one of you may have a different material at home, right? So I thought I will show you guys um, how you can work with all these things. So that's the reason I'm showing. Okay, so now oh, there's one more here. I'm going to take the this color. You can um, go around it with that color. This purple show well, yeah, it's okay. I'm making a going around it like that. making a oval shape around that so all the feathers need to be done the same way so not that oh I missed one Then the next color can be lighter blue. I think I should have made these a little bit bigger, I guess, because okay, I can't do anything now. I will work with what I have here, right? So this then oh two more then the next color is green I'm going to fill the rest of the feather with green Try not to leave any white areas because okay a few more with this so if you you know what to do with the crayons right if it is color pencil you know what to do is done and now what I'm going to do is so you now know how to do with this with that and then let me grab the black one more time because you can't see the black oh, I don't know why you can't see the black part really well maybe I should have used light blue around the black right it's okay now uh, I'm going to put the marker back maybe I should color the legs and the rest right so let me grab the crayon to show you the rest I'm going to color the beak and the the same color orange I mean you can use a lighter orange also it doesn't matter okay now we are going to make the lines from here so for that I'm going to take you can either take the dark this uh, blue green 
and then what you're going to do is connect all these to the body okay then we need to add these lines like that so if you my friend have seen a peacock and if you have seen a peacock feather closely you would know this is how it is okay this is like we you see our peacock is getting better and better with the details right maybe in between these I'm just going to add lines like that and then do the same yeah so with just crayons you can do a lot if you have just markers you can do a lot right so not having paint is not an excuse to not doing art <laughs> you can do art with anything that you have in hand right and i know all of you would be having crayons at home so that's why most of our lessons are with crayons so that you don't have to worry about uh, getting the lesson right right so done i think a peacock looks good now we need to color the background so the background because the peacock is a very colorful bird i don't want the background to be uh super colorful right so i'm going to use a um, dull color you can um you can even put black for the background maybe it's night time but before that what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh draw a horizon line to make the peacock look like he's on the ground okay then you're going to uh so the ground i'm going to use ground let me move my crayons my crayons are taking up all the space and then i don't have space to work okay now i'm going to color the ground like that and again as i said use the color pencil if you have color pencil use the marker if you have the marker and now i'm going to use maybe a color that i haven't used in here what color should i have for the background should i put purple and maybe i'll use purple for the background and i'm going to use it very lightly maybe it is night time haven't you seen the sky turns like purplish color when it is about to the sun is about to set or some people say that the night sky is not really black it is like bluish or purplish black so i'm just going to add some purple now and then i'll go over it with some black very lightly don't color uh, to uh, don't press too hard when you're coloring the background we want the background to be really light the subject needs to show well okay so let me go grab my black crayon and then because the black is a very strong color do you press it really well no my friend you're going to color it lightly and do you see that i'm going only in one direction i'm not going like uh crisscross i'm not um going like crazy like this 
okay if you're tired after coloring this maybe you can take a break and then you can come and color the background okay i want you guys to try your best so and as I, as um as i said why not come up with a story for this peacock because um Edward Borden, what he did was he was an illustrator. He came up with um, illustrations for folk tales, fables, and things like that. So maybe you can make this peacock into a nice character and then come up with a story. And next time we see, you can share the story and illustration with me. Bye-bye.